Hello and welcome back to the Guillotine Channel, your source for family-friendly guillotine content. Today, we're chopping old electronics. Everyone's got them lying around the house. We got an old tablet, we got a laptop. A full-size TV. We're gonna see if we can actually chop that as well. Now this is an old uh, Microsoft Surface that I spilt water on. Crimes committed uh, being too close to the source of my water. What are you guys gonna chop? Is it cool if I chop something? All right, we are set. Put your goggles on. Here you go, son. Okay, let's raise this thing up. I'm really excited to see this. We've never actually chopped something made of glass or metal before, let alone both. I think it's gonna go right through this thing. I feel fully confident. All right, I am gonna feel better behind this thing. All right, ready? All right. And three, two, one. <laughs> that is a chop right there. <laughs> Look what it did. It chopped it right in half, man. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That's half of it. Look at where's the back. Whoa. Look at that. That's hat straight in half. Just like this. Dude. Hell yeah. Dude, it sucked it into the Yeah. Blade. Look at the GoPro. Cleanly that Just cut. didn't even flinch. All right, well now we know the guillotine can chop a tablet. Now the question wow. is, can we take it up an extra level and chop through a laptop? Given how cleanly it went through this, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. So our next victim is an Alienware M17X gaming laptop. It's guilty of a couple crimes, not having a fast enough graphics card. The Alienware, in all of their wisdom, decided to coat it with like a matte plastic coating. And the thing is, living in LA after two summers, it literally got so hot in my apartment that the coating has melted, and now it is just this Gloopy, sticky resin. Oh man, it's all sticky. <sighs> this laptop served me well, but it is sentenced to death. How do you think we should orient this for the chop? Like this way? Should we put it this way? Let's do, let's do two chops at least. First, we gotta get rid of the top part with one chop, and then we'll go straight for the keyboard body. Three, two, one. <laughs> It never gets old. Ridiculous. I don't want to take too long. I want to chop this thing right now. This thing is done. It's going to chop. Right. Three, two, one. That's a chop. Woo! <laughs> don't breathe that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's lodged in there good. Here, here. I am very impressed. Your hard drive's right here. Wait! Oh no! Go. My data! Sorry! <laughs> My Hawaiian vacation with family! <laughs> Oof. Dude sucked under wow. into the depth. Yeah. The way that it just sort of <laughs> This was a violent one. Yeah. <laughs> My data! <laughs> My data! Well, let's just get through that, that monitor real quick. Three, two, one! <laughs> Another perfect cut. Look at that. That's something else, man. Wait, what is this? Wow, I'm so confused. I honestly did not expect it to cut nearly as cleanly, so I feel really good about the TV at this point. The main body of that TV is yeah. made of plastic. So it's just gotta get through the glass. Yeah. Okay, let's get the TV. Let's do it. All right. So we had this uh, old TV lying around in our loading dock. Can I read the sentence? Yes, please do. I get so upset, I can't even begin. TV, when I bought you, you were set to sports mode by default. That's just not acceptable. This and others like it have been found guilty of that for years. My professional prediction is that the blade is gonna go through this like a piece of paper. I don't know, there's so many layers though. There is know? a lot it's going like, on. I think it's probably gonna go halfway and it's gonna chop it and then it's gonna It's gonna stop. like hold up right it's here. It's gonna hold up like right at the bottom. What do you think, Mongo? How you might think a guillotine would function 
is not necessarily how it actually functions. It's defied our expectations so many times. Hopefully it'll work. We'll see. Drop on one, Jake. Three, two, one. Oh, you were right. Oh. <laughs> this is metal. See, it didn't cut at all. It just, it just bent. The main body of that TV is yeah. made of plastic. Yeah, we damaged our blade a little bit. We got one rule here at the guillotine channel. You drop until it chops. Yeah, we should go again. Wow. All right, guys. Drop until you chop. Oh, dear. <laughs> Round two. Chop until it drops. Wait. You know what I mean. <laughs> Safety's off. Three, two, one. Bring her up again, boy. <laughs> Bring her up again. Bring it up again. Can I switch it around? Let's go bottoms up, Nick. Three, two, one. Drop it. <laughs> This would have bonked you right on the head. It's a bonky Joe. That's sharp too. That's not good. We might have to take the whole thing down oh, no. so that to reassemble it. This thing might ruin our guillotine. We're so deep into this, dude. We have to keep going. Drop There's so much down. metal though. There's no way to get this thing like. I don't know how it even popped out. We have to disassemble this. We literally have folded this. We've crumpled <laughs> the steel over. So now there's double metal. Part of having a guillotine is knowing what the limits are. But Nick, I want to get the bourgeois, dude. This thing's been sentenced to death and it's not dead yet. That TV looks pretty dead to me. <sighs> Do you just want to take it out back and beat it with baseball bats and sledgehammers? Well, today I think we learned the limits of the guillotine and I think part of what we do on this channel is just that. It's not just a hydraulic press. It's, it's got a little human touch. It's got a little human element, you know? And I think that's what makes it special. If you wanna see anything in particular chopped by this guillotine, we are always looking for juicy, explosive things to chop. So comment down below, tell us what you wanna see and it just might make it in one of these future videos. Check out the rest of the channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell.